USA, 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 USA. All right, guys, we are celebrating because the United States women's basketball 3x3 team has won the gold medal in the 2023 FIBA World Cup. Very, very exciting news. Um, in this video, we're going to talk about the 3x3 World Cup and just talk about what the United States did to win the gold medal and also uh, kind of what I think is the X factors that really got us this championship win. Um, that's what we're going to talk about in this video. Before we really get into it, please like this video. Please subscribe to this channel if you love more women's basketball coverage. All right, so let's get into it. So uh, this year, the U.S.'s roster was made up of two college players and two professional players. And for the college players, you have Cameron Brink, who plays at Stanford and uh, for sure is the best player at Stanford and uh, is one of the top post players in the entire country when it comes to women's college basketball. Um, we also have um, Haley Van Lift on the team as well. She uh, is a recent um, addition to the LSU Tigers. Uh, she previously played for um, Louisville um, for Jeff Wall's team. Now she has moved on to Kim Mulkey. Uh, so yeah, two really, really awesome players on the college front. And then for, for the professional players, we had um, 29-year-old Sierra Burdick, who currently plays for Valencia ba uh, Basket Club in Spain. She also uh, previously had a stint in the WNBA. I believe uh, her her most recent WNBA team was, I think, the Seattle Storm. Um, and then we also have 28-year-old uh, Lene Harper, who is currently a free agent. Um, she also has had a stint in the WNBA as well. All right, so for those who don't know anything about the World Cup, uh, just know it's a big deal. Like, this is not like, you know, um, something that is, 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 is minuscule. This is a big deal. Uh, the Women's World Cup um, 3x3 tournament is second place in terms of uh, its Olympics, and then it's, then it's the World Cup in terms of importance. So countries want to field the best players, um, and they want to win because it's bragging rights, right? And uh, the U.S.'s victory is uh, what I expected uh, for sure. Um, but not everybody thought that the U.S. would win. Uh, France won the 3x3 World Cup last year. Um, and this year they returned the same players. Uh, so from what I was like seeing like around the Internet, people were saying that, hey, the U.S. is probably going to lose to France. France is a great team. And yes, France is a great team. Um, they, they really are. But the thing that Team USA has that a lot of these other teams uh, in the 3x3 uh, World Cup did not have is dominant young players. Uh, so while most teams had players in their 20s, um, so most players are probably like, we're probably like between 24 and like 30 or so uh, when it came to uh, some of the other teams. Uh, players, <clears throat> they didn't really, ha no one had, uh, you know, uh, college players who are dominant on their teams, uh, besides the U S, uh, Haley Van Liff and Cameron Brink really were the X factors in, um, in the U S winning the gold medal this season. Um, and this is zero disrespect at all to, uh, Sierra Burdick and Lene Harper. Both are phenomenal players and have have really created a legacy for themselves in the 3x3 space um, but I think when it comes to 3x3 um, it's extremely fast paced like very very fast paced. there's no real breaks like you're you're going you know um, until you hit 21 or until uh, you know the, the clock times out you're, you're constantly going um, and I think 3x3 works better for younger it's for younger players, right? Haley Van Liff and Cameron Brink are both 21 years old. Um, and the way 3x3 is done, it's super, super condensed. Uh, players are constantly moving throughout the games and uh, games are on a condensed timeline. So that means like teams are playing twice in a day. Um, yes, the games are way shorter than a normal five, five on five game, but because the intensity is so, so high, I think 
3x3 is uh, gives a little bit of an edge to uh, younger faster than older wise. All right. So um, that's why I think that um, Haley Van Liff and Cameron Brink really, really, really were the X factors that the United States needed because yes, Lene Harper and Sierra Burdick are like phenomenal players. Um, they're not as quick um, as um, Haley Van Liff and Cameron Brink. And I think that that's the big benefit that the U.S. had over all of these other teams where, we, where they were able to withstand by the time you got to that final game, uh, these players still had a lot of energy um, left where, you know, other teams were a little bit tired. Uh, so that's, that's my um, spiel on uh, what I thought was the X factor. Let me know if you agree or disagree. Um, not everybody agrees uh, with my opinion on uh, youth mattering way more um, than, than skill. Uh, when it comes to 3x3, not saying at all, not saying that, uh, you know, um, uh, Haley Van Liff and um, Cameron Brink don't have skill. They do, absolutely. Uh, but I think having um, just a little bit more speed and, and, and having that, that you know, several several year difference in, in age really was a big factor. So um, if y'all think I'm totally off and totally wrong on that, let me know. I, I, I you know, I, I don't always have to be right. So let, let me know what y'all think about that in the comments. Um, so back to what actually happened in the tournament. So the U S women actually had a rough start. Um, they ended up losing their first game to Canada. Uh, this was a big surprise to me. Cause I was like, wait, what, how are you lose? Like, how, like, what is this? Uh, they actually started off the game really well. Um, and then they just kind of fell apart. Um, and then the game was over. Um, but after that, I felt like the U S calmed down and they dominated the rest of the way. Okay, so Canada was the only game that they lost and they won all of their other games, including the final game against France. Uh, so the U.S.'s uh, gold medal game against France was an extremely one-sided affair. Um, I actually just rewatched it uh, yesterday, I believe. Um, and it was just like the U.S. were ready to go and France looked tired. Like France uh, got into really bad foul trouble very early and um, it just sort of doomed them because it, it just seemed like they were tired and instead of like playing defense or like, like doing the stuff that they would normally do, they were fouling, you know? And that's, um, again, with the age thing, I do think that was a factor. I think they were just exhausted and the U.S. team was not, um, you know? So, so France did get some good looks, um, but, you know, Cameron Brink was for sure a presence. I think she had like three blocks in that in the game against France. Uh, she, she was just a big body, uh, and long and whether or not they were going to the hole or trying to shoot a jump shot, she was there trying to contest that bucket. And it just made it very, very tough for France. So yeah, Cameron Brink did a phenomenal job, uh, in that, in that game against France. She didn't really score at all. I think she only had like one point at the end of the game. Uh, it, it, you know, the U S really was led by, um, Burdick and Van Liff, who just really, really carried the team offensively. Um, they each had seven points each. Um, the U.S. had a total of 16 points. So Lene Harper had one point, Cameron Brink had one point, and then um, Burdick and, and Van Liff had the rest uh, when it came to the U.S.'s uh, scoring. Um, France ended up finishing the game with 12 points. So it was, it was a, a finish of uh, 16 to 12 U.S. won. Um, and you know, when it was over, Cameron Brink was named the three X three world cup MVP. Um, not necessarily because of that last game, but because of her play throughout the entire tournament. Uh, so the U S played eight games and, um, Cameron Brink averaged 4.6 points a game, 5.4 rebounds and 1.6 blocks a game. Um, so just very, very solid. A thing to remember, a uh, two is a one and a three is a two in um, 3x3. So that's that's why the low scoring. Um, and yeah, Brink's, Brink, you know, Cameron Brink was just awesome. She was just really, really good. And the thing I loved and it, it, is that it wasn't one-sided with her. Like it wasn't like, oh, she's just going to score a lot of points. No, she's playing defense. You know, she was a presence. 
Uh, she was she was a body that players on the other team had to worry about um, her blocking their shot, you know, and 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 when she was guarding players, they had to kind of adjust a little bit um, because she's tall and not just is she tall, she actually has some speed to her. She's 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 uh, kind of quick, um, and so that's something that they had to contend with. Um, and so after uh, Cameron Brink won the MVP, here's what she said. She said, "It's just insane. This is my first time doing this." And I'm so thankful that USA basketball gave me the chance to do this. We couldn't be, we couldn't do any better. I'm so thankful for our teammates. So yeah, like she said, this was her first year professionally, you know, or or at the senior level, uh, doing three X three, uh, Haley Van Liff, uh, I believe she, she, uh, started last year on the, um, the, the sort of senior level, uh, for three X three, but like this was, um, this was Cameron Brink's first first year doing it, and she really held her own. She really did. I am, um, you know, yes, she's been awesome at Stanford, um, but I just can't wait to see what additional confidence this has given her um, to to play at this level with 3x3, because 3x3 is way harder than 5-on-5. Five five. Like, it just is, you know, there's uh, you can't have your back to the basket as, as long as you can for like a regular five on five, like I think it's like a three second thing where you, you can't, you can't keep your back to the basket. Like there's the condensed short shot clock, the constant moving. Um, it's just very, very different. And she held her own. I just can't wait to see if this, uh, sort of helps give her even more confidence when it comes to next season with, um, Stanford. Like, does this give her, um, like an extra incentive to do a little bit more playmaking um, when it comes to her, her team and not just sort of uh, being a person who like gets the ball thrown to, and then she kind of backs in and kind of does her thing. Like, I just, I just am interested to see how this affects her play, if at all. And also uh, just as a heads up, the women were not the only uh, ones competing for hardware uh, for the U S Uh, The USA uh, 3x3 men's team actually also made it to the championship game, but they lost to Serbia, um, which was a big, big bummer. um, But, you know, at least they made it. So the U.S. went um, gold for women and silver for men for 3x3 this year. So not too bad, actually. Uh, The U.S. men were led by NCAA and global basketball legend Jimmer Ferdet. Jimmer Fredette is, uh, he's just awesome. Like, I just love watching Jimmer Fredette play. He has excelled on just about every level in basketball with the exception of the NBA. Uh, I mean, maybe one day. Um, but I just love watching him play internationally. Um, I think he's awesome. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's probably the extent of the men's coverage I'm going to do on this channel. Um, but if, I guess if y'all want more, I can, I guess I could talk more about it, but like, yeah. I don't only watch women's basketball. I, I watch a ton of men's basketball as well. And Jimmer Fredette is one of my like favorite sort of international players in general, um, just because he, he primarily plays overseas because he is not in the NBA. Um, all right, guys, that's the video. Uh, let me know what you all think about the U.S. women winning the 3x3 World Cup. Did you watch these games? They were all available on FIBA's um, uh, YouTube channel. Um, did you watch it? Let me know what you think about that final game. Um, did you watch the game against Canada? Like, what did you see? Uh, you know, let me know. Let me know. Let me know what y'all think. Uh, do you also, uh, let me know if you agree with Cameron Brink being named as the MVP. I agree. I got, I thought, I thought she did. She did a phenomenal job. Um, you could argue maybe Haley Van Liff. Uh, eh. But like, I think Cameron Brink was the only real player on the women uh the U.S.'s team that was both a severe threat on the offensive and defensive end and so that's why I think uh she was very deserving of winning that MVP um also what do y'all think about the lineup makeup do y'all uh think that the U.S. should continue to do this where they have uh two sort of senior professional players and then two college players uh team up um I, I love this. I hope that going forward, the U S continues to do this, having it 
two and two. Um, I think uh, the the younger players kind of grow from the experience of the older players, and then um, for the older players, it gives the team just uh, a bit of youth and a, and, a, and um, legs that can really withstand longer. Um, and so I think it's a win win for everybody for Team USA. Uh, let me know what y'all think in the comments below. Uh, thanks for watching this video, guys. All right, if you liked it, please like it. If you uh, have not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. In the analytics, I'm able to see like like how many of the people who watch my videos actually subscribe, and not a lot of people who are who watch my stuff subscribe to the channel. Um, and so, um, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe and let me know what other topics you want me to cover in the comments below. Um, that's the video guys until next time. Bye.